What is up world? All right, long time, no vlogging. Trying to get back in the rhythm. So we are working late. We are working late on the Evo 10. Almost got the frame where we need it. Just trying to tweak it. And then, time to weld. We got Mr. Richard. Say what up, Richard. Hi. <laughs> working, working hard. Yeah, Ada will pick your brain. <laughs> so you could tell us what's going on, because Pushing out the pillar. Yeah. The door, I like the door a little bit more. Later, we will get more with Mr. Richard. Got my dad working late in the booth. We went AMS today, AMS everything. We're doing upper intercooler pipings, lower intercooler pipings, intake. But I don't like the coating that it comes with because it comes in a couple coatings, like a wrinkle black or a, like as you see, is a polish. So I'm gonna do a little different. I'm probably gonna do like a black gloss. Think about a charcoal, kind of like what the Supra has, but. I think I might mess up the theme of the, the Evo. When I was building, I went a little cheap and did some eBay intercooler pipings and I feel like that's costing me a little bit of a horsepower on the dyno, so. This is a, this is a cool color. But, I don't know, probably end up doing like a black, black gloss. So, this is the start of it. So stay tuned and let's see how it comes out. All right, we are in the booth. Got everything set up. All right, this is the second coat. Okay. Next step is clear. There you go. The green one outside. Got the new intercooler piping, just cleared it. The two coats came out beautiful. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. I wasn't gonna vlog it, but it's pretty cool stuff. So here it is. What is up, world? We are vlogging. We got my mask, get in the booth. Carlos is priming Angel's truck. Woo! All right, we got Angel's car or truck all primed up. Catch you in the act, Carlo. Man, it calls would be a nice. Uh, if it was me, I would have tried to pick a whole thing black. Uh, Vicky over here working on Angel's truck. Little side project. Mr. Carlos. Open late. Yeah, in there, man. Let me tell you, what a, it's like you're building your own car. Yeah. <laughs> you work for Mitsubishi Factory. We got 
The avalanche in the booth. Got Angel over here working. Vicky. Got Jacob in the back. So the plan is to paint the roof in one session. Bumpers second session. And the side in the third session. That's the plan. Boot time. We're doing the roof. All right, two coats, almost clear time. All right, everything is done. Two coats of clear, two coats of base, two coats of clear. truck in here like I said we're doing we're doing three sessions to the roof roof's done let that dry now we're about to do the bumpers tailgate hood little moldings let that dry overnight come back and in the morning we're gonna do the rest of the truck here's all set up and the way we paint is how it sits on the truck so like that perfect 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 yeah, we could do it that one. That's not how it sits, but I can figure this one out. So here we go. Last coat of clear. Take off the music. Go in the booth. Check it out. three so we uh first shot was the roof did it let it dry second shot was the bumpers bumpers came out very good tailgate rear bumper hood beautiful now we are on the booth it is sunday 12 37 we don't usually work on sundays but today we do this is the big project and we got the Avalanche in the booth, ready to go. Mr. Angel and I. Angel's prepping. Do what up, Angel? Hello. Sunday. Sunday booth time. Truck's in it. Booth's already painted, papered up. And put some, put some paint on this. So one shot deal. Should be easy painting. We will see. All right, base coat's done, second coat, so two coats, take off this, you can hear me, all right, let's go check this bad boy out, base laid down nice and flat and even, covered up everything, so I'm going to let it dry really nice, tack it down, and then it's ready to go clear, so let's check it out. That's how you know you lay your base down good. It comes out like a semi gloss, really. A satin. Nice and smooth. See how you run? That's in the primer. Last coat is done. Let's go check that out. It's pretty dry. Uh, this is how we know. Kind of touch this. You see how this is like this dry? 
Don't touch the fender, but that's the good thing is it's wow. nice and glossy. So you bump this, this thing will come out like a gem. It's really, really nice. Can't wait to start putting it back together. Right? Tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so this is all together still. Still gotta buff it, but before Angel takes it home, we take a picture of it all together. All right, so I'm over here, Mr. Angel. Uh, Mr. Angel's car is all put together, and he actually—I wish I could have captured that. He actually wet sand by himself. He 2000 it and uh, and buffed it. So this is the this is the final final product. So yeah, quality's no joke on this thing, man. So there she is, all done, put together. That was three sessions in the booth. We did the the roof in one session, the hood, the bumpers, and the the moldings, which Mr. Angel hasn't put on yet. But that was the second session, and the third session was the side, because to do everything in one session would be too much, and then you're like battling dry spots and overspray. It's just too much. So. Here she is. On to the next one. So that means, yeah, man, look at that. So, Mr. Angel, how does it? How you like it? How do you like it? Come on, give me, it. give me some feedback. I'm loving it. I'm yeah. Loving it. Okay. Okay. Some shiny, sharp. Came out awesome. A lot of sanding because it's a big truck. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. A lot of prep work. And the crazy thing is, Angel did all the body work. I didn't capture that, but. Uh, that was his first time doing body work. Definitely passed his test. Learning as I go. Yeah, and just you put on, take off, and keep doing it. And it's, a long, it's a long process, but you did it, man. You did, we did it. And it, we did, let me tell you, it's, a trucks like this would take about uh, two months. And I think we did it under about a week and a half. It was completely yeah. apart. It was a week and a half, two out. weeks. So that's quick. That's quick. So here we go. So hope you guys like it. Uh, like the saying goes, here we'll have Jacob take us out. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace, man. <laughs> Get it out.